Hello, welcome Solex Nation. I know that we have said this over and over and over, but really there's only one day left in the month, so we have to say it one more time. Yes, it is August. If you're going to Punta Cana, you have to hit that mark this month, no matter what. You can have it 10 times, August, you have to hit the mark, either a net increase of 15 or a net increase of 20. That's right, and tomorrow is the last day to yeah. do that. Yeah. So if you haven't done it yet, then uh, tomorrow, today and tomorrow, these yeah, are your you days. Yeah, you got this, you, <laughs> you got can it. do it. Come on, join us in Punta Cana. Something else that I think people are gonna be really sad to not hear anymore, but this is the last time we're gonna say this. I know, this. It, it, well, it's not. <laughs> Dave Discovery? Yeah, for a little bit. Yeah. Uh, tomorrow is the last day to buy tickets. So if you're planning to come, get on quickly. Yeah. Get your tickets. Yeah, get your tickets. Come out here to Provo, Utah, September 15th and 16th. We're going to have a great time. We are like squeezing the schedule right now. Yes. Uh, we have had a couple of uh, add-ons in the last couple of Some weeks that are so exciting. Yeah. yeah, we just had someone come on yesterday yeah. who is who is now flying out here to be a part of Dave Discovery. And we're, we're squeezing people in because we have so much. Well, and if you missed it last week, uh, Alice Jaharian is coming to this. Yes, and her name is Jarahian. Dang it! <laughs> Sorry, so, Alice. More than I, Alice. <laughs> <laughs> Jarahian. Jarahian. If you have I remember seen, I saw the bloopers. I was gonna say if you haven't seen the bloopers last week, go check them out because Lauren is hilarious. Alice, my, my deepest apologies. <laughs> we we look forward to you being here and actually being on stage and teaching from stage. Uh, you're just a wealth of wonderful information. It's so true. And we have so many experts that are coming this year. So get on, get your tickets, don't miss this one. Uh, we have a day that we always say this, and it is pull your, your reports. reports. Today's yeah. the day. Is it, we're at the end of the month. If there's a day to go and see how your organization is doing, today's the day. Go pull and export your quick reports, at least the direct and the organizational reports. Those are great reports just to be able to have a marker. As long as you export them, you don't have to download them. Just go and get them exported and you'll be in good shape. That's right. Now we are about, we're more than halfway through this uh, quarter three. Yeah. And we always have incentives for each quarter. So do you want to tell them what this incentive is? Yes. If, if, as long as we have so much going on, right? And we're talking about so many things. Along those lines, the incentive is if you enroll three new people, three new preferred customers or QLAs, right? With one of those new bundles or what were devices, right? Uh, but, but bundles and the subscription. If you do three or more, you're going to get a $50 bonus uh, for this quarter paid out in October. If you enroll six or more, it's actually going to magnify a whole bunch and go to $250 bonus thrown on top of everything else. Now, the special thing about this one is what? You get both. You can get both. That's $300 that could be coming your way. Extra. Great, perfect timing, right? If you're in it, you know, the holiday season's yes. coming up, we gather as families, do all kinds of fun activities. Uh, and this is a great addition to make those even a little bit easier. Yes, yeah, so right. we just wanted to remind you of that incentive and just to be working towards that uh, in the next month. Now, I can't believe it, but two weeks in a row, I yeah. love to say this, but we have another license plate to show you. This is Lori Cornish. Look at that. That's a that's an AOScan license plate. Yes, that good is job, awesome. Lori. And Lori gets a Solix silver coin. Yes. While we have them, you get a Solix silver that's coin right. when you when you get a license plate. What is a Solix silver coin? That is a coin that gets you into the legacy group permanently. Mm -hmm. And there's just different benefits of that legacy group, right? That's right. And for those of you who are curious, you're maybe you're new this week, uh, why are we doing license plates? Well, we it's kind of a thing that started. Yeah. And been and for so a now, of years yeah, now. we've been doing it for a couple of years. And so you go to your local DMV and you can get a Solex license plate or an AO scan license plate. And when you do that and send us your picture, then we send you the coin. Yep. That's great. Yeah. Now we have another exciting thing to announce. Yes. Uh, I mean, we're at the end of the month, mm -hmm. but uh, before, the month hasn't closed officially. Right. But as of right now, we have another QLA that has hit the rank of Pearl for the first time. That's right. Hannah Craig, congratulations. Great, consistent effort. Now she hasn't broken the rank of Pearl. No, she'll do that once she, once she hits the rank th for three months. For three months. Mm -hmm. But 
to hit it your first month, the it's a first big time, deal. that is breaking through another ceiling, right? That's another right. Another glass ceiling. Now, in order for her, she had a new platinum. That's right, a new platinum, and that is Stacy Rowlett. Congratulations to you, Stacy. That is no small feat either. And there, with that, uh, like I said, like we said before, there are a lot of people. You know, obviously, Stacy has a gold and golds underneath her, and and there's silvers in there and yeah. bronzes and a bunch of wonderful QLAs along the way. Uh, just great job all around, but congratulations for being what is now our third person to ever hit to hit Pearl. That's congratulations, right. Hannah. Congratulations. Well, um, in that vein, should we talk about top and rollers? We should. Okay, of course we have ties this week. Oh, really? Right? Yes. This is for August 21st through the 27th. Yes. And let's start with second place. Uh, in second place, we have a tie, and that is Jorge Yerines. And Malarca Mendez. And Claudia Giordano. I love that. Wonderful. And we also have a tie for first place. We do have a tie for first place. These two people are going to get a Solix silver coin. Another. Both of them have a huge collection. Yeah, they have a collection. The first one is Jess Savios. And Alan Stanley. Both of you, congratulations. Great job. Great work this last week. Yes, congratulations to all of our winners. We had a contest. contest. Yes, yep. we did. We were giving away your, one of your favorite things. We were giving a ring. Yeah, the away. ring. I love the, the Solex ring. Yeah. I think it's just easy to get those negative ions close by. You know, it's a small thing, but it, it's comfortable, super comfortable. That's In right. fact, I, I, don't, I rarely take this off. You don't. You only take it off to charge it. That's yeah, it. That's it. Yeah. All right. We asked you to write on our YouTube uh, channel on our on our last call. Yep. What are you most looking forward to uh, at Day of Discovery? Yep. And so we're going to draw three of you. Now remember, we need you to call in with your ring size. Yeah, we need to know your ring size for sure. So okay. this one is Stacy Rowlett. Oh. I went to the first Day of Discovery two years ago and was a unable to go last year. I'm super excited to connect with our team, Team Taurus, because there are so many I just want to hug and so many I have not met in person yet. I'm also super pumped to learn and grow. These events are so important because they spark a fire under my butt and also <laughs> refresh my purpose, which is to empower others to take their health and healing into their own hands. I can't wait. Let's go. Yeah, That, great that job. sums up exactly yeah, how I that, feel about these events. That's it for sure. Yeah. Uh, this is D.D. Turner, 5,800. I think it's Deborah uh, Turner. Deborah Turner, okay. What I'm looking forward with Dave Discovery is meeting so many amazing people and learning so, so much. And being able to travel to DOD is a blessing. Three grandmas on the road to be there for the Friday. Hoping <laughs> our trip goes well going to Utah and coming back home to Canada. Hmm. And bonus, Jess is holding a diamond event that has an amazing speaker while wow, feeling blessed in so many ways. Yeah, some groups are gathering around the Day of Discovery and doing their own yes. things. That's a great thing yeah, to do. Yeah, doing their own events after Day of Discovery. Yeah. That is a great way to connect with your team. Yeah, and I love it. It's called the Diamond Event. Yeah, right? that's right. All right, last one is Cassandra Riet Rietma. Sorry if I said that wrong. I'm excited for DOD, and that will be shared and released. It's my first year with Solex Nation, and I've heard amazing things about DOD. We're excited to have you there, Cassandra. That is wonderful. Yeah, and we hope that you'll reinforce the amazing things that you've heard to others. That's right. Right, going forward. Well, congratulations again. All three of you, make sure you get us your ring size so we can send yep. out your negative eye on Solex ring. That's right. This call now, um, next we have Alice Jarahian with Lauren Good and job. thank you. I gonna, I'm glad I didn't have to correct you on that. <laughs> and they are, um, there's a couple more questions from, from last week that yep. they are, they're going to go over. And then we have Nadia Lutz and uh, she's going to teach us a lot about different modalities that she uses in her practice and in her life. Wonderful. Hello again. Last week we had uh, Alice with us and we were running out of time and we want to bring her back for tonight because there's a few more questions we'd like her to answer that we just didn't have time last week to, to do. And if you didn't get to see last week's interview with Alice, please go back and watch last week because it, it was incredibly good. Um, so Alice, uh, welcome back again. Thank you. All right. So a couple of questions that I think are really, really important that, that we talked about. And I think you need to, ex you know, you could expand and expound on a little bit more. And that is the, 
the problem people seem to make about whether they should use their medicine or their homeopathic medicine. And we have a real strong rule on that. I'd like you to talk about why that's important. That is a very important uh, topic. Uh, when do I take homeopathic instead of medication? You never substitute people. Let's not be a hero. I hear a lot of people saying, well, I'm going to quit taking this medication. I'm going to try taking remedy. Now you can do that. However, do that together while helping yourself wean off. If you are on a medication, there's a reason the doctor prescribed that medication for you. You are not going to substitute a homeopathic remedy for that medication unless you know you've got the right remedy. So do not be a hero. That's my first advice to someone. Now, if you do want to slowly wean off of your medication, take it together, take the homeopathic remedy that you know corresponds with your symptoms that this medication is for, take them one hour apart, don't take them together so that each one can do, can do its job. And then if you see that your symptoms are getting better, start weaning off, say, once a week from your medication while maintaining your remedies. Then up that into twice a week, but never, never, please take it from me, never substitute homeopathic remedy for medication. Don't be a hero. Your life depends on it. And along with that, Alice, I think I would go one step further and I'd say, whenever you're dealing with a medicine, especially medicine for blood pressure or for heart conditions or diabetes, that's something you're gonna probably want to do and would do with the, the um, advice and at least your, the counsel of your doctor. Because you don't want to, to get yourself in a situation, even though the symptoms are starting to change, um, you, you need to see that over time. And your doctor needs to see that you're getting better and they'll say, okay, we, we, we can reduce this. I think what Alice, um, what you're trying to say is, just don't throw them out the window and jump onto a remedy. Take take the time and always, always. We have really smart doctors out there um, and this is new to them. And if you're getting better, most doctors will wean people off. Would you agree with that? And yes, I do. The, the best thing is to talk to your doctor and let them know what you're doing exactly. uh, uh, from, from your side. Tell the doctor, I'm going to take my medication, whether it's blood pressure and, and, and or diabetes, but at the same time, I'm going to take a remedy to help me reduce taking this medication. So when your doctor is aware, they will slowly reduce the dosage. If it's a 50, it'll become a 25. Now you've, you've, you've kind of gotten yourself a, a moving forward. Until you feel, okay, I'm done. Now, is it doable? Absolutely, it's doable. But it's going to take some time. It's going to take working with your physician. And it's going to take a lot of logging down your progress. I think it's important, too. And you hit it when you said logging down. Uh, another word for that is journaling. Just making sure that we're keeping track of where we where we were when we started and each day. And a lot of times, in fact, almost all the time when we're dealing with energy type medicine, whether it's homeopathic or just straight frequencies, it's going to work slower and it's going to be more subtle. And so we want to pay attention to the subtleness of those changes. And the only way you're going to really uh, notice that is if you're journaling every day. Here's what I noticed. Think about this. Last time you had a headache, and it went away. Did you remember when the headache went away? No, you didn't. You just know that, oh, I don't have my headache anymore. This is why it's so important to jot it down, to journal it. Okay, today I had this, this, and this, as, as those symptoms go. Yes, and, and I would also like to uh, interject here an example for my husband. Now, he's a doctor and I'm in energy medicine. He used to be on five milligram blood pressure pill. Don't know why the doctor gave him and he's an allopathic doctor. So he started taking it. But then at the same time, he had plantar fasciitis. Well, Alice here looked in the ebook. What's the, what are the remedies? Okay, I got Brionia and Rustox. I wanted to target the plantar fasciitis. Well, lo and behold, six weeks later, he no longer needed the blood pressure medication. Was I targeting for that? No, I wasn't. I would never have put him off of it like that. But what the two remedies did, they found that the blood pressure root cause was more prominent to be looked into than the plantar fasciitis. That's excellent. That is so amazing. 
You know, Alice, um, we're about out of time, so I, I hate to do this, but guys, you need to be at Day of Discovery. Um, she is a wealth of information, and if you have not had the opportunity to take her course, uh, look into that course again. It is, it's a living course. It's not just one and done. She's always updating that her, her book uh, as the year goes by, as, as more information comes. So it's a living course, and it's a wealth of information. And Alice, I promise you, this is a threat. We will have you back again. So, I look forward to it. We love having you here. And uh, so we'll see you day of discovery. Thank, Thank you. you. Yes, looking forward. God bless. Take care. Bye-bye. Hey, you know, I we're here at the leadership event, and I was just talking to Nadia, and she was saying that she helped someone with a headache. So we're here at this event in Utah. It's amazing in Park City. And someone had a headache. My background, I'm a traditional naturopath, and I also practice uh, functional neurology. So I kind of dive deep into the brain and into symptoms to get to the root cause of things, right? And I found that um, our 660 band is pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. um, Kai done a, did a wonderful video on the 605 nanometer and talked about that. So I'll talk mostly about the 660 okay. nanometer. Cool. And I'm just going to do a quick little blurb on all the, some of the benefits, not even all the benefits. But there are tons of peer-reviewed studies on 660. And you can go out there and look at them. But, you know, it improves on these studies. This isn't a medical device, but according to the studies, it improves the lymphatic system, circulation, helps with blood viscosity, mm -hmm. uh, it can help with your hydration, it can help with pain, inflammation. I mean, there, the studies so just, many so yeah. many things. The studies show it's just amazing. And I use it tons in my practice. I've used um, various different nanometers. 660 is in almost all of my devices that I have, okay. uh, in, including some other ones, but I, they're big panels. Right, so I have a 12 by 12, and okay. I have a full length and infrared sun. I have all these different oh, devices cool. that use red light, and they're fabulous. But I love how portable this ah, is. Right, yes. it's just you can just such a small footprint. Yeah, you can wear you walk wherever you want. Yeah, yeah. and it works fabulous um, for dealing with cranial nerves and different things. So, I decided to talk on headaches because it's a common thing, and it, it's it should disappear in a minute or two. Gosh. Like if it doesn't disappear in a minute or two, you're That's doing, awesome. we haven't gotten to the root cause of it, right? Yeah. So I like to, you know, with our AO scan, we have so many tools just in this one tool, right? And sometimes we need more than just a hammer to build a house. <laughs> like you could do it, right? You could build an eight by eight shed house. It wouldn't look great, but you could do it with just a hammer and nails, hmm. right? Yeah. But then if you introduce a saw, then you could have some windows and a door, and it'd be much better, right? So yeah. when we introduce more than one tool, um, sometimes you can get better results. So I really like to do that. Awesome. Okay, cool. that's kind of my jam. <laughs> um, so if we talk about headaches, right, there are lots of different root causes of a headache. Okay. So sometimes you have to get to the bottom of it, and sometimes you don't. Okay. Um, so it could be as simple. Do you mind if I stand up and use you as a prop? Yeah. So what I found with the 660, it could be as simple as applying it okay. right to the temples here, right? And I usually ask people, where do you feel it? So just you can, okay. pre you can just pretend like so you have So it can be like a spot. It could be a certain spot. So oh, okay. if you had a headache, just point to a spot. Okay, let's say, let's say here. Okay, so Back I would literally head. just go here. Okay. And I would put on for one to two minutes and see if it made a difference, right? If people don't know, so some people aren't really aware and they can't tell like where the headache is, it's all over. Mm, okay. I like to do it on the temples. Oh. So I would first go here, try two minutes at first, and then on the other side for two minutes and mm. see if it made a difference. And what I like to do is before I even start doing this, I say, give me a one to 10 on how severe your headache is. Okay. One, you're fine. 10, I'm in a dark room, no lights, mm. right? So they quantify it. They say a seven, let's just say yours was a seven. Right? Okay. We just do a quick imprint here, quick imprint here. Okay, did it go down at all? Well, you know, maybe in a this, little bit. Uh, I think so, yeah, a little bit. Okay, what, what Still number? Feel some like pain, a six but or a five? Yeah, or? Maybe maybe a five. Okay, can would you be happy if we brought it down more? Yeah. Oh, please. Okay. So we have so many different options. It's so exciting, <laughs> right? The first thing I actually like to do, because it's so simple and it works really well is just a quick drop of lavender and peppermint. So I'll oh. pretend like I'm putting it okay. on. So I would do lavender, oh, so you apply lavender, the, okay, great. peppermint speeds it in, right? Cool. Then we take the red light and we pump it in, right? Mm. 
So now we're kind of adding on to this, cool. right? What else could we do? Zephy oh, dots, awesome. right? So we could imprint. I'm going to talk about my playlist later, right? But we could imprint on the Zephy dot, and we would pop it here over the oil. Pop the other one on over the oil, right? And then you look oh. lovely with those on. Thank you. <laughs> right? We would do both sides. And like you said, maybe it's in the back. Maybe we would also go there, right? So now we've added how many tools, right? We have one, we have two, we have essential oils. We have yeah. three tools. But the magic really happens yeah. with the scanner yes. also, right? And I should also mention that I have two of these because it's just, it works out so well. It cuts the time in half, mm. right? So literally you can just oh, wow. have it on here. Or if you have neck pain, shoulder pain, you have it on here. Um, if you're constantly going into fight or flight, like your central nervous system's a little off, well, maybe you have one here and you have one at the base of your spine. If you have a child that has learning problems or um, some emotional things, you could put it right on the frontal lobe. I mean, there's the options are wow. really endless. That's We've amazing. talked about a pain situation, like your elbow, you could put it on the elbow. Mm. But you can really get to the root cause of some neurodiversity stuff. Wow, that's amazing. Um, so I love it. So I'd like to talk about the scanner and how we use okay. this with that, Sweet. if you'd like. So we have a lot of options on this. We could come up with a playlist for a headache, right? We could take that Cephi dot before we put it on, and we could imprint it. Oh, cool. Right? Yeah. And then pop it on, right? Um, I have a, a general playlist that I like. Uh, it's head injury, head pressure and headaches, nerve inflammation, migraine. I like to put eye nerve pain a lot because a lot of people get kind of that okay. ocular thing. They get some weird stuff mm. in their frontal lobe. Um, acute pain, belladonna, byronia, or nat neuroticum. Now here's a special trick. Okay. Okay. Look what I did here. On this, oh. in this subject. Interesting. Okay. I took a photo of my 660. So I'm sending this playlist to my 660 so dance. This is the target. This is the target. Huh, okay. And we're popping it on Something here. Something I've learned here. Yeah. Not only people or pets could be targets, mm -mm. but I'm. Anything can. This is very right? interesting. And you're always asking, okay, has it gone down? Yeah. It, it should, I'm not happy until it goes to a one. <laughs> yeah, right? right, and it should. Once you get in the flow of this, it should happen in a minute or two. Wow, it shouldn't cool. take a long time once you get the hang of it. That's awesome, right? But wait, oh, there's gosh, more. There's more. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> once you've done Solex University, you have this special um, area that opens up under Cephi homeopathy, homeopathics. Right? There's a little area that says by symptoms. So when you click on it. All of these things come up, and then it will tell you all of the homeopathy um, that is best for you at that moment in time, and then, or actually by the symptom. And then when you press scan, it puts it in order of what might be best for you that day, right? You can choose to imprint all of them, or you can choose to do the top three. You can choose anything, or you could dive deeper if you, I, I really like to use it also for education. Right? Oh, cool. Because it's like, Great oh, you know idea. what? I learned about that so long ago, I don't remember. So I'll go back to Alice's uh, guide uh, and I'll really, you know, yes. dive in there and look at it. But when I look down through by symptoms for headaches in particular, well, maybe it's allergies, right? Okay. Yeah, there's so uh, many different allergies in that by symptoms. Maybe you don't know what type you're allergic to. So maybe it's general, right? If, you're, if it's happening in the spring or if it's happening in the fall, you might just want to put general if you don't know mm. what it is. Um, it could be emotional, right? So you may look under anxiety or emotions. There are a bunch of different lists for that. Um, I find eyes are a big, big thing for people. And that could also cool. tie to allergies, right? Because when yeah. sometimes when you have an allergic reaction, you get itchy eyes and stuff. Could be a flu. There's an amazing list in there for flus. Now, for headaches alone, one, two, three, four, five, six, there are eight different brands of headaches on or by symptoms, right? Wow. So it's cluster, barometric, uh, I can't even read my writing. Hormonal, sinuses, young girls, um, general, back of head, and migraines. Okay, so we have our playlist in here. We are going to now take the Cephi dot, and we are going to oh, imprint, imprint cool. these homeopathic remedies into the Cephi dot. We're popping this back up. Well, actually, let's say that that wasn't a good spot. Let's say okay. it's actually up a little higher. So maybe we move it. Okay. That sometimes happens, right? Okay. And then... We take our water in a glass, we pop it on there, Oh, cool! right? We imprint 
the homeopathic remedies into here. Maybe we also imprint our headache playlist. Yeah. Why not? Oh, absolutely. Right? It yeah. takes 20 yeah. seconds. Yep. Yeah. And then you would drink okay. this. All right. Okay. Okay. And then we come back to our 660 and we power okay. everything in. Right? So wow. now how many tools have we used? I think I've lost count. <laughs> <laughs> right? We have a playlist. We have homeopathic imprinting into water. We have mm -hmm. homeopathic imprinting. You could do pellets. Yeah into the dot we did today. We have the band. We are targeting with this in the subject. So there's like five or six tools just by having these two things. Oh, we added oils too. Oh, yes. Right? So See, I, I, I told you I lost count. <laughs> Forgot about all the tools that you took. It's amazing. I feel like the magic happens when you combine everything and you just go in. And that's when you take your migraine. I mean, I'm talking mm. migraine headache, severe from a nine to a zero. It just happens like that. Then how, where else can you do that? I mean, people suffer from, for know. years with migraines and then this works and they're like, wow. what just happened? You know, <laughs> it's magic. Yes, wow, thank you, Nadia. That, was, that was amazing. Here I thought we were talking about just red light. <laughs> You've added so many more tools and so many, and a, and a new way to use red light that I didn't think. Using that as the target right. in your playlist. You could do yourself playlist. also, or you could yeah, do the right. Cephi dot, or yeah. you could do, I mean, wow. again, the options. Just amazing. Yeah. So thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. Well, Lauren, we had you and Alice on again. Isn't she wonderful? She, she is wonderful. And you guys had just have a wonderful conversation. And then we had Nadia Lutz. We just heard her give some what great recommendations. Yeah, absolutely. Being able to use the 660 band, we know that the 660 band is almost everybody's favorite. Right? Oh, I mean, it sells out every single week. <laughs> yes, we 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 get we go through those a ton, as well as the Cephi dots. That, those are kind of the two products that, when we launched, they just surprised us with it how is much exciting people to love see. those. Yeah. Well, and they're so diverse. There's so yeah. many things you can do with them. Now, I, I think that uh, we, we're going to shift gears this week a little bit with the big giveaway. One. The big okay. One. Yeah. So, we're going to, let, let's, what do we want, need you to do? Okay. We want you to go on Instagram and post something about something with you using a Cephi Dot or the 660 band. But then come back onto this YouTube channel and tag us or, or write your Instagram account here in the comments so that we know where to look for you. If you'll tag us on Instagram, then we can repost or share those forward, and we'd love to be able to do that. So three people will win next week, but we're going to change who wins. This yes. is different. We've yes. never done this before. Yeah, two different prizes yeah. on, on this one. For two of you, we're going to draw names for a box of Cephi Dots. And for one of you... The 660 band. This is huge. That's huge. So, okay, well, again, let's recap this. Go into Instagram... Tag Solex when you post using a Cephi dot or the 660 band. And then come back here on this YouTube channel and just write your Instagram channel, what it is, so we can find you. Now with that, next week we're going to draw three names. Two of you are going to get to get the Cephi dots. And one person is going to get a grand prize, the 660 band. That's a pretty big deal. That's a huge deal. And guys, some of you out there are technically challenged a little bit like me. <laughs> I went up and set my own Instagram account. Yeah. You can too. So this is a big one. Get involved. Yeah, I love that. Well, we'd love to see your posts and everything you do with Cephi Dots and the 660 Band. We look forward to it. See ya. And then we would chart. Whoops. Oh. Dropped it. That's a blooper. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Chart, woo, I got a blooper. Um, for by symptoms, if you've done Solex uh, back office, or not back office, symptoms. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Two bloopers! Okay. That's okay. You can I just start. I should have that reaction because I'm going to get in one yeah. of them, right? Oh. Two of you are going to earn a box of Cephi Dots. Two boxes of Cephi Dots. Yeah. Well, each. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said. Yeah, one to two different people. Oh, geez. One each. Speak English, okay? <laughs>